Lights are out and you're stumbling in the dark You kept pushing on but then you went too far When your ship has sailed and all your dreams are lost Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I'm Jessica. Today I'm getting it all done. I'm doing some cleaning motivation for you guys. I did a bathroom makeover and there's also a grocery haul in here. So make sure you stay tuned to the very end because I'm doing a before and after reveal of our daughter's bathroom and how it turned out. It turned out so beautiful. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I hope you get tons of motivation from today's video. Don't forget to subscribe before you head out and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let me show you what I'm working with today before we get started. I've got this laundry that needs to be cleaned. Hi, Tucker. That's dirty laundry. Need to make my bed. Need to put away clothes. Um, I have laundry going, as you can hear in here. Dirty clothes, dirty clothes from camping. I need to empty out the camper fridge, and I need to do a ton, ton of laundry, but here's the big thing, so let's go. All right, so here is the big disaster, the big project of the day that I really want to complete. If not today, definitely by tomorrow, but I'm gonna bring you along. So Kinsley's room is a disaster because we've been making over her bathroom, and I'm gonna show you that in a minute, but I've got like some things that I've bought to put in there. We had to put new lighting and stuff. We've got her dirty clothes, which I also need to do her laundry. I've got the mop in here, her new shower curtain, the stool I was using to paint. I've got her bag from camping and stuff, but it's just a mess, but I will show you in here. Let me turn the light on. So this is what we have so far. I painted the cabinets white. Now, if you notice, <laughs> we ran out of handles. I thought I got enough and I was one short, so I need to get another handle, but I think I'm going to switch because I did put these in our master bath. I think just for the sake of completing her bathroom, I'm going to give her one of mine and then I can run to Lowe's sometime this week and get one more handle. But painted those white. I have a new mirror. I think it's out on the front porch actually. I have new lighting. Let me see if you can see better when I turn it off. So of that lighting, I don't know if you remember what was up there, but I'm going to try to show you a before clip. But then I have the new paint color. This is called Alpaca, and I absolutely love this gray. It is a very neutral gray. It is not a blue gray or a purple gray. It's like a beigey gray, and I love it. So anyways, though, as you can see, it's a disaster in here. I was sharing on Instagram, whoever put her mirror up before this, they glued it to the wall. <laughs> oh. And so we had to rip it off and it caused a lot of drywall damage and we didn't really want to put drywall up. That wasn't in part of our plans for this project. So we actually just got a mirror to cover it, but we are going to hang it the proper way. There used to be a medicine cabinet in there as well. I don't know why on earth somebody would glue a mirror to the wall, but they did. So we're paying for that, but it's going to look so, so much better anyways when I'm done in here and I've got to clean though. I'm going to clean everything really good. I'm going to clean her grout. Um, because it is not, you can see it's kind of like brown and it's actually supposed to be like a really light beigey gray color. So I'm going to do that, but I'm going to bring you guys along for that whole process and I'm going to clean her room and you'll get to see what it looks like as well. So that's the plans for today. I don't know about you guys, but I fail at laundry so bad. I'm always behind and I always have laundry to do and I'm only a family of four. So I don't know how you guys do it when you have like a family of five, six, seven, eight. It is so much for me to keep up with. I have no problem really washing it but folding it and putting it away is always like so dreaded for me and it takes me forever but i did finally get it done and it always feels so good when it's finally done so yay go me <laughs>
I did get some new clothing in from Yvette Sportswear and they are sponsoring today's video. So thank you so much for sponsoring today's video, Yvette. I absolutely love their clothing and I'm super duper excited to share it with you guys. I've been wearing their clothes for months and months. I can attest to the quality, super high quality, super fast shipping very very cute they're always coming out with new styles so definitely check out the description box for more information hey guys so the first outfit that i'm gonna show you well this shirt you've already seen i've worn it in several of my videos i love these tanks from yvette but i have these pants and they've got like these stripes and i think they're really cool and the green color is really pretty so it's like a um, I don't even know what kind of green you would call that and then it fades up into like a lime green and then it goes into like a hunter green so it's the three different tones and they're in a way like the pattern is in a way that's like kind of slimming so I do like that about them and then of course the quality of them is just amazing as all the other Yvette leggings that I own and then the bra that I have on actually matches these pants which is really cute so it's that really cool whatever color, I don't know what color green you would call this, somebody tell me. And then like the hunter green, and then the back is really cute as well. But I just paired it with this black tank because I felt like black was neutral, and I really didn't know what else would go with it. Maybe gray? What do you guys think? Okay, next outfit is this lavender tank. It kind of flows out a little bit, so I like how it's not like super fitted to me. It's got some room, and it's got a little slit on the side. And the back is just a racer back. And then these are the gray, they're like charcoal gray leggings. And these are the compression ones. So they have, let me show you in the mirror. So they have this like um, section of fabric right here that is super, super duper gonna suck you in. Um, these are awesome. I would recommend with these leggings possibly sizing up one size just because they're no joke gonna suck you in but if you really really do just want to be sucked in then stick with your normal size okay and then I got this t-shirt I love it super soft comfortable I love the way that it's cut I feel like all of Yvette's clothing they really think about like the cut of their clothing because it's all very very flattering it's not just gonna be like a normal t-shirt or a normal tank the way that they cut it makes them look so cute on. This one comes in several different colors. I can't remember all of them, but I know pink and then green. So I will leave the links for everything below so you can check them out. But I know that this one came in several different colors. I'm still wearing the same leggings. They did send me a black pair that is a lot like a lot of the other black pairs I have. I'm still gonna show you. I'm just not gonna try them on. And then they sent me a another bra that I'm gonna show you guys. All right, so here is one of the other sports bras that they sent me. It's got like the mesh in between and it's this really pretty army green and then this crisscross detailing in the back all of their sports bras are amazingly super comfortable very very high quality I love these I live in them you guys I live in their sports bras I live in their sportswear I seriously love it I highly recommend it I would not work with them over and over and over again if I didn't okay here is the other pair of black leggings that they sent me they are not a buttery smooth material like some of the other ones I have they're more of like a spandexy material they just have the little Yvette symbol right here this is reflective and they are high-waisted they do have a little adjustable cinch in here so you can even tighten it if you wanted to and the back just looks like this now this is important though because like I was saying they really pay attention to detail in their clothing and they're gonna make it to where it flatters you it makes you look your very best so as you can see it's got this seam right here and what that does is it really helps to shape and lift your booty so that is important it might not seem important but it is important and they really pay attention to those details so that is another reason that I absolutely love Yvette sportswear all right guys so that is my little try on haul for you guys but I wanted to just come on here and tell you face to face how much I love Yvette sportswear I wear them all the time that you can be seen in all of my most recent videos. They're my favorite, favorite sportswear clothing brand as of right now. They have really cute clothing, very fast shipping. I feel like they're very affordable. I have a coupon code, jesse15 will save you 15% off so they're even more affordable. 
and I feel like they're very flattering to your body and they just really pay attention to detail. So if you guys want to check out anything that I showed today or just check out their website in general, then check the description box. I'll have everything linked for you there specifically that I showed and then you can browse the website as well. And as I mentioned briefly on the screen there, they are doing free shipping today only, which is Wednesday when this video went live, July 29th, free shipping. So you can use my coupon code, jesse15, and get free shipping, which is a pretty cool deal. So if you are wanting to try out something, now's a great time. Or if you already have tried stuff and you wanted to get more, today is a really good day to go shopping. It might be a little loud in here because I have the fan going because that was hot, but um, this is clean. And I do have my husband's laundry there because I do not put his laundry away. He puts his own laundry away. I fold it for him, wash it for him. I put it in the hamper for him, but I refuse to put it away for him. So it's there for him when he gets home from work. He can just put it where he wants it and how he wants it. And he prefers it that way because I never put anything where it goes, supposedly, and then then I've I've done something with it and so he puts his own laundry away but anyways that's all I'm going to do in here today just because I have so much other stuff to do I did wipe down my bathroom counters but I didn't film it hi bud I'll probably vacuum in here and dust in here tomorrow but for today that's it I got that laundry done that's good let's go see I'll show you there's not even a dent in what I have left oh lord help me Okay, so I got everything dusted off and decluttered. There's the mirror. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. The only bad part is, is that it does have a mark. I don't know if it shows up on camera. It doesn't really focus right there, but there is a mark right there. Maybe you guys can see better, but I'm going to contact them and see if they will send me another one because I think I paid around $80 for this mirror. So I'm definitely not okay with that mark. But other than that, it's a beautiful mirror. I'm so excited to put it up and show you guys. I'm not going to vacuum in here until we're done with the work on the bathroom because it, it's just pointless. But I have like her shower curtain and everything there ready to go. I'm going to have to steam it. 
because um, it's going to be really wrinkly. But everything is picked up and dusted off. And then in here, it's still pretty much a mess. But I'm waiting on my husband because I'm going to have him hang this towel rack for me. We got rid of the builder one and I got this really pretty one at Hobby Lobby. And then, hi, what happened to your hair? I just fixed it so cute. I cleaned your room. Don't mess it up. So yeah, when he gets home, I'm going to have him hang that. I've got to have him put, this is the new shower curtain rod, but it's like not a tension rod. I'm not really sure how it's supposed to go up there. So I'm going to let him figure that out and then um, switch this knob out for me and hang the mirror. I wish I was handy like that. Like I could do the knob if I really put my mind to it, but I've got other things to do today because um, I've got a lot going on and he can do it a lot quicker than me. But um, yeah, that's where we're at. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm done in here for now. I got to wait till he gets home from work. I'm going to go ahead out to the camper and get all of this stuff out of the refrigerator um, and bring it in the okay, house. Our camper is a mess, but that's camping. So I always use this bag to carry stuff in and out to the camper. It's a 31 bag, an older one. So I'm just going to grab all that we have left in the fridge, which isn't a whole lot, and the freezer. Oh, it's so hot in here, you guys and put that in the house so that's what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna try to set the camera up so you guys can see me it's kind of crazy awkward in here if you haven't seen our camper tour i do have that up on my channel where i showed you an outside tour and an inside tour of our truck bed camper it is really awesome it's amazing how much they can pack in to such a small space and it's just crazy every time we're in there to think that we're basically in the bed of a truck even though we can take the truck out from under it it's still basically the size of the bed of a truck. It's just crazy, but it has been working so great for our family. When everything's gone, it's hard to be strong. Confusion in my mind, no way to turn back time. My soul in need of remedy. I'm guys up on a makeshift tripod here because mine is upstairs. I'm too lazy to go get it, but I have this wreath that goes on the front door and um, this part kind of came unglued and was like hanging, so I super glued it, but it's not real sturdy. So I have my hot glue gun here and it's been heating up for a hot minute. So it should be good. So I'm just going to try to hot glue it and get it real good on there so that it doesn't fall off again. Tucker's wanting in. I can hear him out there working at me. I just let him out for potty. But yeah, that did good. So that should dry in a couple of seconds and then I can hang that back out there. But I wanted to go ahead and fix that while I was thinking of it. Hold on, I'm coming. Mama's doing the grocery haul. All right, guys, I just got home from picking up groceries, so I wanted to do a quick grocery haul for you guys and show you what I got for the week. So keep in mind, we do have some things already that I didn't need that maybe will be for a meal or something. So if you don't see something, it doesn't mean we don't necessarily have it. I just didn't need to get it this week. So, okay, I'm gonna start here. This is our chicken. I got two things of chicken breast. I'm not gonna take them out of the bags I actually leave them in the bags just in case they leak or anything I got some butter pecan ice cream because I was craving it it looks so good and I got some non-stick aluminum foil I use this when we make pizzas and stuff and I love the non-stick one we use this for so many different things but especially anything that we bake I put this over the pan and that way it makes clean up clean up so 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 much easier so Madeline loves these little, we call them taquitos. I don't know if that's what they're actually called, but these are the beef and cheddar. She also likes the chicken and cheese ones, 
but these are really good and you just can heat them up in the microwave so she likes these so i got two boxes of those and i got a box of pancakes i got some stick butter i love butter i don't use margarine I don't like it. I like real butter. It makes all of the difference, you guys. So I always get real butter. And then I got some Parmesan cheese because I use this to make my Alfredo. It's really, really easy to make it this way and so much better than the jar Alfredo. I've showed it in a couple of videos of mine. Then I got this frozen lasagna. My mother-in-law made this for us when we went to visit recently and we've been obsessed with it ever since. Super duper easy to make for dinner and taste amazing it tastes like homemade so i get that and then we usually do like garlic bread and maybe like corn i really wish i would have gotten stuff to make a salad but i totally forgot so that's a bummer but i guess i could always run to the store and pick some stuff up i got kinsley some of these cheese sticks because she loves to have these as a snack picked up some mac and cheese ramen don't judge me i like to have this for lunch if you hear anything, my kid is skateboarding in the house and just crashed into something. <laughs> so it is what it is. We're going to remain calm. Anyways, I like to have these for lunch, so I did get some ramen. Then I got this onion soup. I use this in my roast, and I do have roast on the menu for this week. So these are some things that I put in my roast. Brown gravy, this aja gravy. Is that how you say it? Aja? Brown gravy. And then some beef broth and some carrots potatoes and this coke is actually gonna go in my roast as well because I do put a coke in there I also have a video on my channel of how I make my roast but um that is something that I do put in there so then I have eggs and let's scoot over here so I have some frozen corn this is not the frozen corn that I like but they've been out of my frozen corn for like over a month now I usually get the sweet corn so hopefully this is good and then this green giant veggie tots the broccoli and cheese so good you guys you definitely have to try this if you like broccoli amazing and pretty much everyone in my family likes these except for maybe kinsley but everybody else likes them they're so good and then i ordered a big thing of drano like an 80 ounce and they were out so they substituted for three of the how many ounces 32 ounces so i got a little bit more than what i paid for and then i got these goldfish for Kinsley to snack on and I just got some pop tarts these are my family's favorite flavor and then some mini Mountain Dew cans because you guys know I'm addicted to Mountain Dew and then chocolate milk this is Madeline's favorite chocolate milk I got some heavy whipping cream this is for my Alfredo sauce that I make milk and orange juice and then I got some frozen pizzas Madeline and I really like the Red Baron brand. Um, they were out of the Supreme for my husband, so I just got him Tombstone, but it's also really good. I like the Tombstone brand also, but I really like the Red Baron um, recently, like just to change it up a little bit. It's just a little bit different, so that's what we've been getting. And then my husband likes these yogurts, the Chobani Flip, and they were out of the other one. He gets the banana one, Go Go Nutty for Banana or something. They were out. They only had the Almond Coco Loco, so... That's all he got this time. Then I got some sliced shredder, sliced shredder, <laughs> sliced cheddar cheese for a bacon chicken recipe that I'm gonna be making for dinner this week. Um, I also got bacon right here is the bacon for that. It's on the recipe on Pinterest, so it looks delicious. I got some Lunchables for Kinsley and some fresh deli meat. This is buffalo chicken. It smells so good. I want to have a sandwich right now. Um, I got some apple juices for Kinsley, some sugar, and these are the garlic breads that I like, the kabata rolls. So that's what we'll have with our lasagna. I got my husband one of these because his other one broke and he needed a new one. Some bananas. I got some Ridex for our septic tank. We gotta do like once a month a treatment. I got some garbage disposal cleaner. This isn't my favorite. Now I really do like this and I've used it for a long time, but I found one by Lemmy Shine that I like a lot better, but I can't find it. I gotta look on Amazon, but I can't find it um, to refill and I'm out of them. So since this was in stock, I just went ahead and bought it. But the one by Lemmy Shine is really good. And then I got some more, um, whatchamacallit, 
dishwasher tablets. And then I got some mouthwash and I got a really pretty little glass container to put my mouthwash in in my bathroom. So I'm just gonna dump this out of this one and put in that. So I wanted to get pink and online when I ordered these, cause I did Walmart grocery pickup, it was pink, but it's purple, but it's okay. And then I got some more Epsom salt for my bath because I love taking baths and I love Epsom salt. So that is it for groceries. I got to get these put away. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul. Maybe it gave you some ideas for something to try this week for your family. The doggies are, I threw all the bags on the floor. Bailey's out, Tucker's out. You know, it's really hard watching me do all this work. Okay guys, so we have the mirror. I love it, but I am going to have to send it back to Amazon because of that mark. They're going to replace it for me. Um, so the replacement is on its way, but I love the mirror. It looks so good. And then um, I got that knob on there last night. My husband did that. He hung that for me and the shower curtain rod. So now I just got to clean everything out of here. I'm going to be cleaning the grout, cleaning the bathroom, cleaning the um, shower, toilet, everything, making it nice and clean and then hanging her shower curtain. So are you excited? Yeah. You have paint on your face. She was painting a birdhouse this morning, so she has paint on her face, but I'm so excited to finally just get this bathroom put together and to see how it all comes together. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you the tricks that I know. Getting tired of talking. You made your mind up Cause lately all it ever does is Okay, so this was the next day. I'm just getting all of the trash and all of the clutter out of here so that I can give it a really good scrub down, get it all nice and clean so that I can do the fun part, which is decorating. And I am showing you the paint that I used in there. It was the Sherwin-Williams Infinity. And again, it is in the color Alpaca. I'm using my Dawn Power Wash for the bathtub and shower. I've talked about this before. I don't really like it for my dishes, but I do love it for cleaning the bathtubs. It does a great job. I have this one in the scent green apple, so it also smells really good. And then I'm just using this all-purpose disinfectant cleaner that I got from Walmart. It's the great value brand. I love it. It works great. It smells great. It's not too fumey. It doesn't have bleach in it, so you don't have to worry about bleaching your clothes, but it does kill germs, so it's a really great cleaner. Like no other every day I won't stop like the others I will stay Cause now is the right time And I'm feeling alright I'm playing your game like I know I can win right now So far I know you got me up tonight Cause loving you is like I'm walking a tightrope so high I won't be turning around No, I won't be turning around
I did use the Lysol toilet bowl cleaner with hydrogen peroxide for my grout. You guys have given me a ton of suggestions. I've been kind of going down the list of things, trying them out. I did some in my downstairs bathroom and it worked really good, but it was the Clorox one. And you know, I will tell you, I wasn't like super impressed at all with this one. It didn't really get them as clean and as bright back to the color that they were. So I'm definitely going to go over them again. I think next time I'm going to try my bleach spray. I really think that will help to brighten these up. I know that there is carpet cleaner that you can supposedly use. I did try that. It didn't do a very good job on this grout in particular. You guys, I don't think that this grout has ever been cleaned and this house was built in 2003. So it's some pretty serious staining. So I think I'm gonna try bleach next time and see how that goes. I think that that will definitely brighten it up. I mean, it's clean at this point. We know that it's just not getting the stain up. So that's why I think I wanna use bleach. So I got this little steamer, this handheld steamer on walmart.com. I thought it was cute because it's pink and I have found several instances where I'm needing to get wrinkles out of stuff. So I went ahead and purchased it. I think it was like $20. It's a great little steamer. This was the first time I ever used it. It was a great little steamer. It, it got hot really, really fast and it produced a lot of steam, but it didn't end up getting the wrinkles out of the shower curtain. And you will see that in a minute. Also, I was not prepared and I completely forgot to buy shower curtain hooks. So I had some laying around the house from the previous owners and I was short a couple of them. I had to take some from our shower curtain and put on there and I still didn't have enough. So I'm gonna have to find some shower curtain hooks for her shower curtain, but I wanted to get it up. I was really anxious. So in the meantime, this will do, but I put it up there and then I tried the handheld steamer and I don't know if I was doing something wrong. I really think that it's just the material because I ended up throwing it into the dryer on a low heat setting and let it do like its wrinkle thing. And it really didn't get a lot of the wrinkles out either. So it might just need some time to kind of sit up there and relax maybe some steamy showers will help so i don't want to knock the steamer i really did think it was a great little handheld steamer i'll have to use it on something else in the future because like i said even the dryer didn't really take the wrinkles out which you will see at the very end i think it's just kind of a wrinkly material and that's just how it is going to be but overall it's still a really cute shower curtain i got it at target and i will link it for you guys in the description box Okay, so now I took it out of the dryer and it did release some more of the wrinkles than the steamer was doing for me, but it's still pretty wrinkly. But I am going to go ahead and put on this clear shower liner that I got on Amazon a long time ago. I don't even remember the name of it. I just was searching for a shower curtain liner and it came up. So I ordered two, one for Maddie's room and one for Kinsley's. It's a really heavy duty, nice one though. So I do like it. So I was just attaching that and then I went ahead and hung it up in there. Make sure that you understand You're the one who gives my life color There is no one other With your hand in mine Let me go by your side Let me go by your side 
I do want to get some more decor for in here, but I need to make a trip to Hobby Lobby, so that is to come. But as for now, here's a little reminder of what this bathroom looked like before. Had these oak cabinets and this dark like teal wall and then the mirror that they glued to the wall. Do not get me started on that. And then like a builder grade lighting. I didn't really show it in that clip, I'm sorry, but if you've seen any of my past videos, you may have seen it was just kind of like a strip light. It wasn't that cute, but I'm so excited. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Because you're gonna love it. I cannot wait for you to see it. And if you do love it, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. I just feel like it is so fresh and clean and serene looking and just very girly and I don't know like the first thought that comes to my mind when I see it is just like clean and calming. I love that paint color. I got this little stool at Hobby Lobby by the way but I love the paint color on the wall. I love how the cabinets just made instantly like took years off of the cabinets and just gave them such a facelift for such an inexpensive way to do it too. And then the door, not the doorknobs, but the cabinet knobs. And then that mirror from Amazon is just gorgeous. I just love everything. I hope you guys love it too. I hope you guys are not disappointed. I know I have talked this up for a while. I have been wanting to get this done for so long. I'm so excited that it is finally done. I cannot wait to do Madeline's bathroom. I'm not going to be painting her walls because I already love the pink color in her bathroom, but she is getting new mirrors, new lighting, and new cabinets. So that will be coming eventually whenever I can talk my husband into that project. We've been so busy this summer, so it'll probably be a little bit, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for 100,000. You guys are the best, and I will see you next week.